بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما Our praise and thanks are due to God most merciful, most compassionate peace be upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Muhammad and his family and progeny and his followers and his companions and his followers until the day of judgment This is your brother and servant Hassan al-Ashhab in another beautiful episode inshallah in on reminders uh, for uh, the fasting uh, believers. In this episode, inshallah, I want to talk about something that is of great importance to our fasting, which is, which is mending, mending uh, the relationship that has been broken. And this is something that we have to do regardless of Ramadan, outside and inside Ramadan. But it becomes so important in Ramadan because the spirit, spirituality gained from Ramadan depends on that. The forgiveness of Ramadan depends on how we deal with the people around us, how we deal with the people that, are, that, that we love and the people that we have some grudges and probably animosity against. The Prophet ﷺ said, as we, as we mentioned at the beginning of this episode, that, that one of the people that Ramadan would not help at all, no matter how much this person fasts or make qiyam or whatever they do Ramadan is not for this period the blessing of Ramadan pass by this person without even touch without even touch him or touch her and one of those people is the person who had grudges had grudges with his brothers and sisters Muslims and could not mend them could not mend them in the proper way so that's that's completely you know makes the person completely immune from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completely outcast from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but moreover moreover as we go in Ramadan there are challenges there are challenges let's call the people that we have issues with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that do you want me to tell you about uh, uh, the thing that will shave your deen will shave your deen which means like completely erase your deen completely erase it shave it from its its roots and they said what is that to apostle of allah he said i'm not talking about the uh, the uh, do you want me, do you want us to tell us about that he said what is what is that to apostle of allah he said al baghda we said like you know, when there when there is when there is you know uh, grudges and hatred between the men and and, and women believing in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same community the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there is no there will be no iman. The iman asl al iman. Iman is completely shaped, is completely obliterated if that is the case. So we have to be aware of this and we have to pay attention to it inside Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger has given us three days in which we can feel angry upon somebody. But after the three days we have to pick up the phone and say salamu alaikum. We have to visit them if they are sick. We have to we have to return return their calls. We have to we have to respond to them if they invite us. We have to follow their their janaza if they die. We have to visit them if they are sick. We have to say yarhamukallah if they sneeze. We have to break the ice. We have to break the ice and mend and repair the relationship. Moreover, brothers and sisters, mending the relationship had such a great impact in the spirituality of Ramadan. The Prophet وسلم, as it was mentioned in the Sahih, came up with the gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Came out one day with a gift, with a beautiful gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that gift was that he was given the specific date of the, of the night of power, Laylat al-Qadr. So the Prophet وسلم, was told that night and he was coming out so happy, so thrilled to share it with his ummah, to tell the ummah the Naylat al-Qadr that year is going to be in such and such a day. And the Prophet ﷺ came out of his room and in the masjid there were two Ansaris, two men from the Ansar raising their voices, quarreling, fighting, fighting in the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the masjid of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ came out the first thing that he encountered, peop, two people quarreling, two people raising their, their voices in the masjid, and he was engaged with them in, into breaking that fight. And he tried to tame them, tried to tell them, while he was engaged in smoothing up that relationship, by the end of that process, by the end of, of mending that relationship, and he mended, 
the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made to, was made to forget Laylatul Qadr. He was made to forget Laylatul Qadr because of a quarreling of two men, believing men, Ansari. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described them as Ansari, which means like they were helpers, they were good, they were not bad, but they were quarreling in the masjid, they were fighting in the masjid, they were they were breaking the relationship in the masjid of, of, of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The the darkness of that act overwhelmed the beauty of the light that the Prophet ﷺ, the glad tidings that the Prophet ﷺ was having that night, and he was made to forget. He was made to forget Laylatul Qadr. He was made to forget the beauty, uh, uh, the night of, of the power. Now imagine if we engage in quarreling, whether in Facebook or in Twitter or whatever, or in the phone or in the text messaging. Or, or, we ha or we hold grudges against other brothers and other sisters, no matter, how they, no matter how harmful they could be to us, that will destroy our spirituality of Ramadan. That will prevent not only Laylatul Qadr to, you know, that we, uh, to come to us, but it will prevent the basic ajr to reach our heart, the basic light to reach our heart. Let us, inshallah, before we get into Laylatul Qadr, let us, inshallah, pick up the phone and call those people that, that we may have some issues with. Let's be the, 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 let's be the, the, the people who initiate, who initiate, say, Assalamu Alaikum, how are you? You don't have to take them as friends anymore. You don't have to take them as dear brothers anymore. No. Keep the relation, keep the, normalize the relationship, which means keep the relationship normal. Call them, say, Assalamu Alaikum, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good, good Ramadan. And move on. But don't keep the grudge in, in your heart. Before you sleep tonight, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive anybody that you have any grudges against and make dua for them and send them some Quran as a gift. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us those who are forgiving so we can deserve the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us generous with our emotions, which means that be, be magnanimous, be overbearing, be overlooking the mistakes and, and, the, uh, and the shortcomings of others so Allah ta'ala could have, could have uh, the eye of mercy for us and forgive us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could could uh, could shatter our our sins and could forgive them and and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would grant us a full absolution from all our sins walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin and thank you